Complete training is available on itdvds.com. Now let's begin the training. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the architecture of Plate Spin and how it works. The Plate Spin server is just a server, it can be physical or virtual, with the Plate Spin application installed. And the Plate Spin application really is just an IIS web application. We can take a look at it. I'll just open up IIS. We can see there's two virtual directories here Power Convert and OF OFX Web. And this is really what makes up the Power Convert server. And then we have a client that actually connects to the Power Convert server. And the client is used for administrative purposes only. And I've got the client installed on this server. I'll just double click on it to launch it again. So you use this client to configure the server and all the server really does is you tell it a source and a destination and you tell it what to do with those two servers. So a source can be a physical or virtual machine and a destination can be a physical or virtual machine. And you tell it what to do. Do you just clone it over and change the server name? Do you copy everything over so that you plan to take down the source server and just bring up the destination server? Or do you do incremental replication? So that's really all it does. And I mean, I say all it does, but it, that, that's quite a bit. And, and nothing really gets copied to the power convert server. It's more of a watchdog. I mean, the, the data doesn't transfer from the source to the power convert server, then to the destination. The data goes straight from the source to the destination, and the power convert server just uh, watches it and keeps track of changes, things like that. So this is the client here, and we'll take a look in the, the next movies exactly how we use the client because it's, it's how we administer the plate spin server.